So today I'm going to be, it's kind of going to be like a revisited, not really. Um, it's the Hurricane 3 Neo. The only difference is in this video is I boosted the sponge with Falco uh, Temp Long Booster. <laughs> Let me tell you, was it worth it? You bet it was worth it. I mean, to apply a long booster or or a booster on uh, on any rubber, it takes about roughly like four to five days uh, for this process. If because it needs you need at least like two to three layers for the booster to take effect, which you need to apply a layer after every twelve to twenty four hours. That's why it takes so long. And then, as you can see, the rubber starts to curl, and you gotta wait like a day or two for it to flatten out. And I did it with um, with uh, Hurricane 3 Neo. Now let me tell you, it's beast. The Hurricane 3 Neo was a monster. Now it's just all out beast mode. I mean, it's faster. Um, and Falco, they advertise this uh, booster as giving an enhanced feeling of ball control. I completely agree. I feel like I have more control uh, when I loop underspin. Um, it was more effortless um, when I did it. Um, so, and uh, the since uh, uh, long uh, boosters basically stretch out the rubber. So boosters, what they do is you apply on your sponge, and what the sponge does on the rubber, it starts to expand a bit. That's why the rubber starts to curl. And what this does, it's stretching the top sheet right now, which gives the top sheet a more elastic, um, an elastic feeling, which will give um, more power to your shots. Um, and it's worth it um, because literally you have more speed, you have more control, looping is easier, and it's a lot faster. Smashing's good, top spin drives are good, that being said, pushes are not affected at all. Uh, every time I push, I could still keep the ball pretty low, and um, but open um, once you uh, uh, shoot, um, just uh, once you like uh, loop the uh, loop underspin, it gives your opponent uh, a crap load of spin, and that they're either gonna miss the table or pop the ball up, which. I mean, literally, the Hurricane 3 Neo is nice. Now, it's awesome. I mean, f for a $28 investment and a $14, I got it for $14, but literally, it's probably like one of the best investments I've ever done because it's, it's just amazing what, what this, what, how it feels in the hands it, 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 has, it gives you tremendous feel in the hands um, it has good it has a lot better speed like regular Hurricane 3 Neo it has good speed now multiply that by 3 no by 4 it's very fast and I like that and and it does I would say it does enhance feeling of ball control because looping underspin was alright now it's it's awesome it's like whatever you want to do with it it'll do it before the rubber is just mainly for attacking now it's more versatile i mean i don't know it's, it's insane and i have it on a carbon blade uh, the paleo tct blade which is a very very fast blade that being said boosting this rubber doesn't affect the performance negatively it actually works so, I highly, 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 highly recommend boosting the Hurricane 3 Neo Sponge. I, I very recommend tuning the rubber because you're changing a $17 rubber to perform like a $60 rubber. No joke. So, this is just basically summing up the review of the Hurricane 3 Neo tuned with Falco Long Booster. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.